So it's finally time for the college football playoff. This whole entire series comes down to this. And the next game we lose, if we do lose a game, will mean the end to the series. Now, preferably, hopefully, we'll end off this series by lifting up the national championship. But although we had an incredible year finishing the season at 15-1 by being the first ever true freshman to lift the Heisman Trophy, Every team in college football has a chance to knock us off each and every week because everybody in this new college football division is talented enough to do so. And all it takes is for one team to get hot in the playoffs and knock us off and we're out. So the regular season at this point, all the accolades that we did win mean absolutely nothing. But hopefully guys do enjoy. Rather or not, we do win the national championship. And first thing to check out is the seeding for the first ever expanded college football playoff to 12 teams. And with that said, and before we do get into the video dudes, I am doing a huge giveaway over on Instagram. You have a chance to win one of four copies of Madden 20. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. I'll link you to the post so you can see how to enter. It's super easy. There's literally no point in not going to enter. And if we can get up to 20,000 followers and get that post to 10,000 likes, that adds in even more copies that I will give away. We're getting super close to those two numbers, so make sure to go into the giveaway if you haven't. And I'm doing an extremely similar giveaway over on Twitter, so it's the same exact stipulation. I'll leave a link to that in the description box as well. Just make sure to go into those giveaways in total between Instagram and Twitter. Eight copies of Madden 20 will be given away so hopefully guys are excited for that the teams to make this first ever playoff obviously were number one somehow some way Alabama went all the way from being three and four on the year to getting a number two seed Mississippi State we did beat the season number three Houston number four Clemson five TCU six West Virginia seven Michigan eight Auburn nine Penn State ten Oregon eleven and Tennessee's 12, somehow Tennessee, I think they were like 2-6 and six on the air at one point, somehow, someway sneaked their way by winning their conference into this playoff as a 12 seed. As it's time to see who we're going to take on in the Elite 8 of the college football playoff as we advance into the next week. Who are we going to be taking on? is going to be Oregon, 11 seed Oregon, so two prolific offenses that we're going to have to take on today that we're going to see in today's episode, go head to head, and check out the first week, number 8 seed Michigan knocked off number 6 seed TCU 33 to 21, you had number 11 seed Oregon destroy number 3 seed Mississippi State 34 to 10, you had Clemson, a 5 seed, barely beat a 9 seed, and Auburn, 23-21. And last but not least, the 12 seed Tennessee Volunteers got knocked off barely by 10 seed Penn State, 20-17. In this Elite 8, we have the 5 seed Clemson taking on the 4 seed Houston. We have 11 seed Oregon taking on the 1 seed and yours truly in UCF. Then you have Michigan, the 8th seed, taking on the 7th seed, West Virginia. And last but not least, the 10th seed, Penn State, Nittany Lions, taking on the number 2 seed in Alabama. With that said, enough talking, my dudes. It's time to grab this W against the Oregon Ducks. It's going to be some fun uniforms today. 11 seed versus the 1 seed. Let's just make sure we avoid an upset and advance into the college football playoff semifinals. Who would have ever thought that your UCF Knights would be the one seed in the first ever expanded college football playoff as we have home field advantage here against the Oregon Ducks. And I do know they're 11 seed. And they only went 9-7 and seven on the year compared to our 14-2. and two. But dudes, we've got to be careful because with this prolific offensive attack, you never know what can happen here as we come out of the tunnel getting hyped up. And hopefully, man, we can continue our Heisman performances in the playoff because, as mentioned, it doesn't matter how much success we had in the regular season. If we get knocked out here in the first round of the playoffs, we could actually take on Alabama next week. UCF has always wanted Bama, and if we get this win and Alabama beats Tennessee State, we might be able to see that matchup in the semifinal as it's time, dudes, to finally go to work and win this first ever playoff game in the history of the UCF Knight program. 
Let's see here. We get the ball first. It's time to ball out here. It's time to show off why we won the Heisman. Hopefully our offense can play as well as they did in the regular season. Same thing for our defense. We'll have to see how they play and how they can limit Oregon today. But let's get off to an early start here. They're blitzing. Not good. Not good. Thank God. Incompletion. That was almost an awful start. Second down and 10. Handoff to McCray. Up the middle. He's going to get a total of two yards. Or all one yard. Now I'm interested. Is Killens Jr. injured? We have one player who's injured. And it doesn't even say how he's injured. Killens Jr. has a ruptured disc. He's placed in the IR. So we're without our starting running back for the length. For the duration of the playoffs. And look at how many players we actually have injured on this team. Our best defensive player, Titus Davis, who had 15 sacks in the year, is also out for the season. One of our starting quarterbacks. And our starting right tackle is out. Also, our left guard is out. So, God dang, dude, so many injuries. And this guy has a mysterious injury, Bantius Thompson. So, two of our running backs are out. Houston got a huge win over Clemson in the Elite Eight. So, they're going to be advancing to the college football semifinals. We don't see any of the other matchups yet. Michigan versus West Virginia is going to be a tough one. Same thing with Alabama and Penn State. The screen pass to McCowan, the cousin of Laquan McCowan, picks up eight. Second down and six here. And you know what? We'll just take off again. We're going to run the football. We're going to pick up about 15 yards and get into Oregon Duck territory. How awesome would it be to barge into this college football playoff by scoring a touchdown on our opening drive? Our first ever game in college football history in the playoffs. That's another first down to Nixon. It remains to be easy passing the football here. Look at the matchup on the left side. They're pressing Snelson Jr. I think this could be it. The safety isn't getting there in time. Too easy. Touchdown UCF as we do take a 7-0 lead against the Oregon Ducks in the opening drive of our first ever college football playoff game. You don't ever leave Snelson Jr. one-on-one. -on -one. He had to step on the defender. It's going to be one of the easiest catches you ever see him make. As there is a booth review, as hopefully is upheld, and it is. Our defense holds Oregon to zero. As now it's time to try to take this two-possession lead. So hopefully this Elite Eight game can be pretty stress-free. As it would be so if we can get a quick two-possession lead. I see B open. A dime. Oh, out of bounds. Third down and two. I don't trust this on the ground. So what we are going to do is look for a quick pass to our tight end bell out of the backfield. As he's covered. But we're going to make the catch regardless because he's bell. He's the second coming of Rob Gronkowski. Our comfort blanket with the first down reception. And an 11 here. This should be a first down accurate pass. Another NFL throw but it's out of bounds. Third down and 11. Just a little bit off. We're still a great throw nonetheless. See if we can keep the chains moving. At least maybe get a field goal this drive and take a two-possession lead, which, once again, I would really want to make this less stressful. We take this ourselves. No, the post is open. We get the ball off. Williams with the catch. Now in the field goal range, but screw a field goal. We want seven. Well, here we are again. Third down and ten. At least this time around, not that much pressure because we are in field goal range. And the slant is going to be open. Another nice play. Okay, I see you. The Oregon secondary and defense as a whole locking down on us on this drive. As we do kick the field goal, do take a 10-point lead in our defense with another big stop. Looks like it was a turnover on downs for Oregon as now we have a chance. Now to make it a three-possession lead. Look what they're doing. Dude. Why don't defenses learn? Don't single cover our receivers as he has a step on them again. It's like Josh Gordon. He's going to go up. It's going to be a flag. It's going to be pass interference. Even when we don't complete deep balls, why the heck not take the chance? As it should be a spot foul. As with the throw, we have the ball on the opponent's 15-yard line. I'm telling you, dudes, Oregon, what a value and effort to make it in the playoffs and getting a huge upset in week number one. But, dudes, you have no match here. For the UCF Knights, as we have the ball. Now at the two at the completion to our big boy tight end, Mr. Bell. First and goal from the two, as we're going to try to throw this ball. I still don't like 
trust our running game on the goal line. It hasn't been effective all year long. And look for Nixon on the underneath throughout. We're going to get blitzed and we're going to get sacked. Well, after a holding call, it's a third down and goal at the 21-yard line. And if Oregon can hold us to a second consecutive field goal, they still are in this ball game 100%. As we're going to need some luck here. I probably could have thrown the ball, but I didn't because I'm a moron. What do we do? What do we do? He's going to tuck this ball. Somebody make a play. Thank God it wasn't intercepted. Uh, Oregon might be betting the ball down and hold us to field goals, but they are the worst catching defensive team I've ever seen. We should have thrown probably two interceptions on that drive. We do kick a field goal on defense. How is that? Like, what are, what's happened to our defense? Our defense early on in the season wasn't that good, but ever since, dude, they're holding prolific offenses to hardly any point. As, let's see if we can actually take advantage of it this time. The catch to Nixon, first down to the 40-yard line. Second down and 15. The dig should be able to be caught. It is Nixon close to the first down marker. Third down and four here. Let's see if we can pick this up. Take this ourselves just enough to get that first down. Not really having success scrambling this game, but just trying to keep the chains moving and scoring at all costs. Second down and 10. Play action pass here. I think the tight end should be... Uh, got hit as we threw the ball. I mean, you got to give credit to Oregon's de defense. Give credit where credit's due. They're getting to us. They're locking down defensively. I mean, it's not been easy thus far this game. Third down and 10. Dude, just give me some time to throw this football. X on the comeback route. A beautifully ran route and a beautiful ball for the first down. An NFL-esque throw there. First down and 10, the curl routes. I don't see... Oh, the tight end was open. Get away from me. That's a sack. God dang it, dude. Winston Jr. with his second sack of the ball game. See, dude, our biggest downfall offensively continues to be sacks and loud. That's our fifth time being sacked on the first half of this ball game. As this is going to be... Thank God for us. I can't get the ball off. We can get the ball off. That's the sixth time we've been sacked in. Unfortunately, we're going, hurry up here. Has wished me luck, dude. Got to give credit once again to Oregon's defense. They're creating pressure like no team has this season up to this point. Can we get 28 yards? Probably not. As, dude, what's happening? The injuries in the offensive line are starting to show their effect. That's the seventh time we've been sacked in this ball game. We don't have enough time to get the ball off yet. Like, sometimes, yeah, we hang on the ball too long. But, dude, sometimes they're just there before I can even do anything. As thank God our defense continues to hold Oregon scoreless. As this has probably actually been our worst offensive performance of the season up to this point. Dude, I just want to get out of this game quick because this is scary. Me. Sometimes it doesn't have to be pretty. But we just can't do anything offensively. Like we, I mean, we do move the ball every now and then, but our drives keep getting stalled because of Oregon's defense getting to our face. Third down and six, if anything, dude. I just want to keep the chains moving to choose some clock because eventually, dude, Oregon's going to score. It's Oregon, dude. I don't know what their problem's been thus far. Bell, though, wide open slant route. Hung on to the football. Thank God. First down. First down and sin. Oh, man. I'm just getting a little bit too antsy in the pocket this should be a first down found just enough space to complete the pass first down to the 33 let's end this drive in a touchdown i don't want another field goal because a field goal keeps it a two possession game i mean it's safe to say i think the injuries are starting to show their effect man as our offense just does not look the same this game can't even run the ball at all he has four rushes for six yards you might wonder why i never god dang keep the ball on the ground that's why because third downs and nines like this, dude. I'm telling you, this game is not even close to being over. Oregon's going to score. <laughs> I guarantee the next drive is going to happen. Oh, God. Come on, please. Heisman has play. Show us why you're... Dude, I threw the ball to Am I blind? Oh, man. Just couldn't get the ball off there, dude. Are we going to kick a field goal? We do make the... I... What did I tell you? What did I tell you? It is now a one possession game, dude. A touchdown. I told you, Oregon. I, 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 I can predict the future, man. Oregon's uh, there. It, this is scary, dude. This is absolutely freaking scary. Getting two ants in the pocket. Gonna take off. That's gonna be a flag. It's gonna be. I think we're past the line of scrimmage there. We gotta calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Second down and 15 here. I think this deep post should be open. It is. Easy money, first down. At least, dude, I know I've been screaming touchdowns. But, like, at this point, just give me a field goal so it's no longer a one-possession game. 
It's been a long time since we have thrown an interception, and this would be the worst scenario to throw one to give them a chance to tie the ball game going into the fourth quarter. But quick passes. You know what? Just scramble here. Scramble. Take off. That's a fast line. Why is he so fast? We broke that tackle. I see why. Over the field. That is a Johnny Manziel-esque play. All day. That right there is why we won the Heisman. Having a bad game. But plays like that. Move the football down the field. And let's get a touchdown here. Please. Quick pass. Quick pass. A back of the end zone. Boom. Thank God for the offensive line. This makeshift offensive line that's missing two starters. At least held up. For a split second there for that slant route to develop in the back corner of the end zone. That's a touchdown, UCF. Can our defense get the ball back? Oh, my, they did. Somehow, it's a long drive by Oregon. I don't know if they turned the ball over on downs. But, guys, it's time to start chewing this clock. And this has been an ugly, ugly game. But let's just chew the clock and get out of here and advance into our first ever college football playoff semifinal. Still no success at all running the football, dudes. See if we can pick this up. Give us four more downs to chew the clock. Third down and seven. Need seven yards. And you know what? I see it again. We break a tackle. He's trying to strip the ball. Oh, man. Oh, man. All of those squats paid off there. Oh, what a lucky play. First down. I think all our luck went from the Dublin Shamrocks reject series to this series because I, I have never seen a team get so lucky so many times. But you know what? As we always say, don't F and ask questions. X down the field. Beautifully thrown ball. Beautifully ran route by who other than Mr. Dredrick Snelson Jr. As boys, we're in field goal range. And as ugly as we have played, I do think that's going to do it and punch our ticket to the college football semifinal. But the question is, is it going to be against Alabama, the team that UCF has always wanted, always chanted for, or is it going to be against Penn State, the only team that we actually lost to in the regular season? Game, set, match, our ticket to the college football semifinal has been achieved as as your UCF Knights get a scary, ugly win. But as we always say, a win is a win. As with that, to end off today's episode, let's see who the heck we are going to be taking on in the college football semifinal. Is it going to be Bama or Penn State? And it's going to be the University of Alabama. We finally get Bama, and that will be next episode. Wow, what a game. What a semifinal matchup. UCF, who's always cried to take on Alabama, finally get their chance to knock off the pinnacle of college football, the University of Alabama Crimson Tide and Tua Tonga Viola. As let's go ahead and check out, we do have a player upgraded in today's episode as well. We'll be up to now an 88 overall with the confidence boost. As we get, look at all those attributes that we did get. We might need them against Alabama. I'm sure they're the, the most talented team in this whole entire and all of college football overall wise. As we check out the playoff schedule. In the other side, dude, it's Houston versus West Virginia. So, pretty much this is like the national championship game, although we haven't played Houston yet, who did have a really good year, so can't knock them just yet. But guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy. If we can smash like 2,000 likes, this next episode will come out tomorrow, because I'm sure this is probably going to be the most anticipated episode of the series up to this point. But guys, that will do it. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless, and peace.